Robert Hooke's theory, he found himself looking at the cork. Hooke observed the box-shaped structures, which he called cells, as they reminded him of the cells or rooms in the monasteries. This discovery had led to the development of the classical cell theory. There are two general categories of cells, prokaryotic and eukaryotic. As for bacteria, it lacks a membrane-bound nucleus and other internal structures, and therefore, it is ranked among the unicellular life forms called prokaryotes. Cell wall is a structural layer surrounding some types of cells. It provides the cell with both structural support and protection. Ribosomes are cellular particles made of RNA and protein that serves as the site for protection synthesis in the cell. Ribosomes have two main functions, decoding the message and formation of peptide bonds. Mesosome is an organelle of bacteria that appears as an invagination of the plasma membrane and functions either in DNA replication and cell division or excretion of exoenzymes. Cytoplasm is a thick solution that fills each cell and is enclosed by the cell membrane. It provides a platform upon which other organelles can operate within the cell. Nucleoid is an irregularly shaped region within the prokaryotic cell that contains all or most of the genetic material. Plasmid is a small extra-chromosomal DNA molecule within a cell that is physically separated from the chromosomal DNA and can replicate independently. They carry genes which carry beneficial traits for the bacterial cell. Flagellum is a hair-like structure that acts primarily as an organelle of locomotion in the cells of many living organisms. Bacteria can have one flagellum or several. 